All the financial titans and philanthropists of the 20th century, none are more complex or mysterious than George Soros. Like Carnegie, J.P. Morgan, and the Rockefellers, he amassed billions through ruthless business decisions, only to turn around and give away most of his fortune to advance his own personal philosophy. What you're doing is, is, is asking, uh, some در اینجا آقای جورج سروس در برنامه سکسته مینیت مشهور امریکایی شرکت میکنه ایشون ازش پرسش های بسیار جالبی میکنه از جمله اینکه تو یک یهودی هستی که در مجارستان به دنیا اومدی و هولوکاست اونجا آفریده شد میگه آره درسته میگه تو کمک میکردی به مصادره اموال یهودی ها نه؟ اینطور نبود میگه من اون موقع 14 ساله بودم آنجا کار میکردم نظارگر بودم میگه ولی تو نگفتی که یهودی هستی خودت مسیحی معرفی کردی از این مسئله احساس ناراحتی نمیکردی میگه نه اگر من اونجا این کار رو نمیکردم یعنی همکاری با نازی ها و اون پدر خاندش که مسیحی بود اگه من این کار نمی کردم خب کسی دیگه این کار می کرد از طرف من اونجا خیلی چیزا فهمیدم فهمیدم که باید از موقعیت استفاده کنم برای زنده بودن من پور می سازم و به نتیجه ای که کارهام در جوامع بشری به وجود میاره هیچ توجهی ندارم من پور می سازم و خوشم هم میاد از این که دلال شورشگر باشم از این من مسئله خیلی خوشم میاد سوروس of what I do. To understand death camps, George Soros accompanied his phony godfather on his appointed rounds, confiscating property from the Jews. These are pictures from 1944 of what happened to George Soros' friends and neighbors. You're a Hungarian Jew mm -hmm. who escaped the Holocaust mm -hmm. by posing as a, a Christian. Right. And you watched Lots of people get shipped off to the death camps. Right. I was 14 years old. And I would say that that's when my character was made. In what way? That one should think ahead, one should understand and, and anticipate events. Uh, and uh, one, one is threatened. It was a tremendous threat of evil. I mean, it was a, a very personal experience of evil. My understanding is, is that you went out with this protector of yours who swore that you were uh, his adopted godson. Yes, yes, yes. Went out, in fact, and helped in the confiscation of property yes. from the Jews. That's right. Yes. I mean, that's, that sounds uh, like an experience that would send lots of people to the psychiatric couch for many, many years. Was it difficult? Uh, uh, not, not, not at all. Not at all. It, uh, maybe as a child, you don't you don't see the connection, uh, uh, but it was it created no no problem at all. No feeling of guilt. No. For example, that uh, I'm Jewish, uh, and here I am watching these people go. I could just as easily be there. I should be there. None of that. Well, uh, of course, I. Could. در همینجا هم ازش میپرسه که شما آیا دیندار هستی؟ میگه نه میگه به خدا باور داری؟ میگه نه خب خودش بارها گفته و میگه که پول ساز هست همه چیزش خداوندش پول و براش هیچ مهم نیست که نتایج نتایج کارهایی که انجام میده در سطح جهانی چه خواهد بود هدف اینه که پول بسازه و کمک کنه به پولسازی کسانی که مشتریش هستند و در کمپانیش کار میکنن و سرمایه‌گذاری کردن Do you believe in God? No. It was actually probably the happiest year of my life. 
that year of German occupation. For me, it was a very positive experience. It's a, a strange thing, you know, because you see incredible suffering around you, and, and in fact, you are you are in considerable danger uh, yourself. But you're 14 years old, and you don't believe that it can actually touch you. You have a belief in yourself, your belief in your father. It's a very uh, happy-making, exhilarating experience.